Hello and welcome to another walkthrough for Postgres for everybody. Uh, in this one we're going to walk through a really simple uh, example uh, sort of from the Elasticsearch client documentation. Um, and so and so this is it's in some ways it's simple but it's it's also uh, very complete. Um, and so again you've got to get your hidden values set up the right way so that your import hidden. You've got to use pip3 to install Elasticsearch if you haven't already done that. Um, and away we go. So, print secrets. Why do we want to print secrets? Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's not print secrets. We don't want to show that in here. Then you would see all my secrets. So we won't print secrets. Secrets is just a, a key value pairs that come in uh, in a dictionary. Away we go. Um, and so we set the Elasticsearch client up with uh, the host, the user, the password. Uh, prefix and and so it takes care of all that if, as we've seen in other examples it's not really that hard to talk directly to it uh, using uh, requests just hitting it but away we go so so we're going to basically start just always by wiping out the index so that when we fill it up we know what we're doing and then create the index and then basically Elasticsearch thinks of the world in the term of documents right and so it's just a we start with, and you can put arrays in here, and lists in here, and, and other dictionaries in here, etc. Outer thing is always a dictionary if you're doing it right. Um, and then the insert, you have to have a key, primary key. In this case, I'm just going to call that primary key ABC. And ES index is, I think of it as the insert. This thinks so much about the fact that it's, a, it's the world's awesomest inverted index that it doesn't even think of inserting the documents it thinks of indexing the documents but there you go uh, we find out if it's a success or not uh, we can retrieve the document if we want um, this refresh is in effect delay until all of the indexes are finished this is a lookup by primary key so it's not that big of a deal um, this says I'm going to actually use the inverted index, so finish. This can be costly, so I'm only doing it for demo purposes. Tell it to recompute the index, normally take up to 30 seconds. And so, would you like pause? Now this is a more sophisticated query, and you can take a look at this documentation. We're kind of following this particular documentation. So, so this is a query. Boolean is a combination. It just is a way to combine multiple in effect like and, right? And so this is like a where clause. And uh, this, this must match, that is, um, the must match is looking for some text. And that's actually not just, oh, that's a, a somewhat soft match, whereas this filter is like a hard match. This is like a where clause. And so this, I'm looking up in this particular case, this is like applying a where clause. A filter is like really and truly reducing the number of uh, documents that are being searched. This bonsai is more of an approximation, something that looks like or sounds like bonsai, maybe with stemming, etc., etc. And so if you look at the document, I'm putting a type in here that it's a type tweet. Now I'm only putting one document, so it doesn't matter. I'm just this is kind of your where clause, and this is like your soft text lookup. And the bool basically says both these things um, have to be have to be true. Right? So the bool the bool wraps both the, the match and the filter. Well, the must and the filter. Okay? And so then what do we do is we basically call an ES search with this as the body. In this case, um, the Elasticsearch library is conveniently convinced turning this from a dictionary into a string and then we get our results and we can parse through those results and pull various pieces of the results out. So this is going to just, there's no interactivity to it, it just runs. If you Elastic Tweet, you know, we, we drop the index, we create the index, we add a document, that's success add document, we retrieve the document based on the primary key that we just did and so some here somewhere is the yeah there's the text it's of type tweet right it's just a json 
And then we do the index refresh, which again is pause and wait until the indexing catches up so that we can do other searches. And then we do the search that basically says, let's hit this. And we have a where clause. The where clause is going to match the type equals tweet. And then we got one hit. And then I go through and I parse this and I read that stuff out. And so that's just a simple walkthrough of a completely self-contained with no external data to put a document in, wait for the index to finish, and then retrieve the document back out. And so this is just a good starting point because you know it completely works. Okay, so I hope that this little quick walkthrough allows you to work with and change that code and build uh, inserts of various kinds that you like. Cheers.